Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. It is Saturday, July 8th, so you know what time it is. It's Wax Gaming Weekly Recap Time, where we're going to go through all the details from this past week and anything that's upcoming here in the near future and bring it to you in, I will say, 15 minutes or less. There's a lot going on on the Wax blockchain. Uh, so I want to get all the information out there as quickly as possible uh, so you don't have to go through all the details and all the discords uh, yourself. Um, it just takes a lot of time. So I wanted to get this out here. Let's go ahead and kick off with FGL starting with they did a land sale last week where they dropped, uh, I believe it was 100 lands. Uh, trying to remember off the top of my head. I think it was 100 lands. Um, and in those lands, you had a chance of getting a rare, epic, or legendary. Uh, basically, what happens from those lands is uh, any season that ends for FGL for all of their games. Right now, there's three games. New games are on the way. Um, so all their games for the lifetime, uh, after seasons happen, they have an excess of FGL that they were giving away in a different way. What they decided to do is start distributing it to landowners, kind of give that passive overall metasphere for FGL. Uh, and they're doing their first one. They actually did their first uh, FGL drop yesterday on the 7th. Uh, and this kind of shows the details of it. It was the leftover of the Cosmic, I believe it was a Cosmic Clash uh, see, no, I'm sorry, Mecha World season. Um, so it was leftovers from that, and uh, and they distributed it all. So if you had a, a rare, epic, or um, a legendary, you were able to get a distribution anywhere ranging from 1,177 FGL all the way up to almost 1,600 FGL just for holding it. And you don't have to stake it anywhere. You just have it in your wallet, and it gets distributed to your wallet. So that process has started. So every single FGL season that ends, there's going to be a distribution that goes to those landowners. Also from FGL, Cosmic Clash, they have their new packs that are coming out here in the very near future. Wanted to make sure you're aware of that. They do that every single season and they drop new packs. Uh, and then we have uh, Outlaw Troopers. I thought this was interesting. Um, at the time of this recording, and you, you all know I record this on Friday, um, they, they actually announced this on the 3rd, this right before the holiday, that they made it to Tier 9. They're actually almost to Tier 10. And I, from my recollection, and I could be wrong on this, I've never seen it go up to tier 10 before. Uh, so that's exciting from the, it just seems like there's a lot more activity this season. In addition, they do have the access pass, which does also give more to this. So I understand that there, there's extra features burning, quote unquote, burning mechanisms in the game that improve the tiers a lot quicker. I could honestly see us getting to tier 11, possibly tier 12. I, I think tier 12 might be a stretch. Um, but that just means better rewards uh, for the leaderboard. So it's, it's nice to see that we are almost tier 10 and we have about nine days left in the season. Next on the list, we have a quick update from Avalon the game. Uh, they do have their J July passes available. Uh, similar to the June passes, uh, you have a chance to go ahead and earn badges on a daily basis to allow you to get an uncommon character that will be used in beta and also launch. So it's another opportunity for those folks that, that were interested in it. They just weren't able to get the June pass either early enough uh, or just didn't have the access to it. So they are doing it again this for July. Uh, so if you have a chance, go ahead. I would test it out. Uh, you know, I'm all, all you all know I'm a big advocate of Avalon the game. In addition, they also dropped some of the details around um, some of those NFTs that you can earn in game. If you're also not familiar with it, each pass that you have, you are able to uh, earn a, a piece of equipment in game that will be converted into an NFT. So if you had a June pass and a July pass, pass and you happen to get this NFT here, which is the Carl armor, um, you actually get two of those NFT wise. Uh, so those are those are now going to be distributed here in the very near future. They just did a tweet recently that shows a little more detail as far as what they're going to look like. These two, this is the Ring of Champions. This is Raid 3 reward uh, if you're able to, if it drops, obviously. Uh, so that's one of the rings. It's probably the best uh, ring in the game. And these two are already available. The Werewolf Heart uh, is already in NFT form and the Titan Helmet, which is also, in my opinion, probably one of the best uh, pieces of equipment in game which you can earn during these alphas um, and and also on the list is going along with a werewolf and the titans when they first were doing this early alpha they actually dropped two different templates uh, for the wolf's heart and also the, the the explorer boots what they're doing now is they're converting them into one template uh, so they have a burning mechanism that's available you do have to go through nefty 
uh, when I say burning, I should say blending. Uh, so you can go ahead and blend to the, the template that's going to be used in game for beta and launch. So if you have these in your inventory from alpha, go ahead to Nefty and make sure you do that, that blend. So you have the, the correct template for those. Next on the list, this is in the farming tale discord, but it's more of an announcement for a brand new game that's coming for wax and something that's I'm, I'm really excited about. It's from the node 42 team. The game is called Parsec. This is going to be a space-based game. It's a web-based game, uh, and it's going to be very familiar to uh, some games that we played in the past. Uh, it's a, it's a, the style is familiar, uh, brought to the, brought to the blockchain. I think it's going to be very popular. So I, I wanted to mention it here because I wanted you all to keep an eye out for it. Uh, it is going to be both free to play and play to earn. Uh, they will have NFTs that are available that give you boosts within the game, but they're not necessary. So you can play with without any NFTs. Uh, this is going to be coming here shortly. More information to come probably closer mid to end of the month. Uh, so keep an eye on that. They, their Twitter's live and active. The Discord's live and active. Uh, so I encourage you all to go ahead and check them out. Uh, along the lines with Farming Tales, I think I mentioned this in a past video, but there are big, 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 big changes that are coming for Farming Tales that are going to make it more long lasting more uh, uh get rid of the the overflow of nfts basically giving life spans to animals and things like that and buildings that are going to need repaired so you can't just stack up on the geese because i know that's that was big early in farming tales they now have a lifespan um at least they will they're, they're going through this whole conversion process uh so there's a lot more to come with this obviously i'll be doing videos on this one to kind of teach you uh, and walk through some of the changes that are happening and for especially for new players as far as guides go along with this next on the list we have uh, an update from dungeon worlds from wombat they actually finally <laughs> implemented the sensei boost option within the training so if you have uh you go in and you're training your your wombats uh you now if you actually stake a wombat champion it is a different category on atomic hub uh, the, the, the game or the, 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 I guess the category is called Wombat Champions. If you have one of those and you stake it with your Wombat that you are going ahead and leveling up, you'll get a boost in the XP. I believe there's going to be additional boosts for, for some of these Wombat Champions. Uh, nothing's been released yet in regards to that, but you can go ahead and level up your Wombats faster by using one of these Wombat Champions. So that is available in the game right now. Uh, next on the list, Nook Studios, this one I found super interesting because usually when we have, uh, the games they, out there in, in the studios, they focus on the games themselves. They focus on what they have in front of them. Occasionally you get a Wombat that goes ahead and does a wallet, or you do have Taco that goes ahead and does a, a Taco swap uh, or some sort of exchange that's out there. Um, and Nook Studios is jumping into that also. They have figured out a way to do a bridge, uh, that, that wax team is very interested in so they announced that they have a partnership or they're going to be working closely to get this bridge implemented uh so it's going to be interesting to see how this all works out uh, it's going to be in two phases you're going to have the token bridge for liquidity and then you're going to have the nft to bridge this goes very closely with the mining architect uh game quote unquote game that's out there uh because a lot of what you mine in the mining architect will need to be bridged over to the actual chain itself so you can convert your in-game token to the actual token that you're mining again remember they are a physical uh mining farm that's in iceland uh so that's one of the big things that they wanted to do is make an easy way to do that conversion so they went and did a lot of research on this and came up with a plan for it so it's gonna be interesting to see how they implement all that um taco speaking of taco they a cryptia season four is live uh, there's an announcement in their Discord with all the details that are is new for this one. Um, so go ahead and try it if you're a big fan of the Acryptia and you like that style game. Highly encourage you to check this one out. There's going to be a lot of cool things. I know there's a number of Alien World collaboration events that are happening. Plus they have uh, some drops that are coming as, as soon as Monday. The Series 2 skin drops going to be coming. Uh, and then they have the hands gear. This is the, the boost that you give you boost in game that's dropping on the 14th. Ooh, and they have more. They have a custom deck that's dropping on the 21st. And then, as I mentioned, the Alien World events are starting here on the 18th. Uh, so keep an eye on that. Lots of stuff going on with Ataco and Encryptia. Moving on, we have uh, Aphelium. Aphelium just did their uh, land pack 
drop on Thursday. I did a an initial review on this on Wednesday. So if you're at all interested in learning more about this game, highly encourage you to go ahead and check out that video. I will be doing a follow-up video. I did get one uh, of the lands, and I've been kind of playing it uh, since the beta release launched yesterday. Uh, so I've been kind of playing it, so I'm going to go ahead and try and do a gameplay review of it coming here in the near future. Uh, but they have three things that are going on. They still have the land packs uh, that are available if you want to go ahead and grab some of those. The beta has launched, so you can go ahead and play beta. Uh, that's also launched yes, or on Thursday. Uh, and they also have a tournament that's going along with it, with the beta release. So lots going on. I uh, encourage you to check it out. If you like Discord-style games or space-style games kind of things, uh, it's worth taking a look at to see if it's a, a right game for you. Also along the lines of new games, I did a poll on my Twitter uh, two days ago um, where I asked for what should be my next gameplay review. Um, unfortunately, uh, Arcus, I think I'm saying that right, uh, did not win that, but I'm still going to go ahead and do a review on it because I find it interesting. They have Right now they have a, a collaboration going with Atomica where they're doing three types of pack drops uh basically any level that you want to play uh the cheapest is five dollars all the way up if you want to go whaling out you can go ahead uh, for 120 get the the elite or the the premium pack um so i will go ahead and do a review here on this in the near future um it got a lot of votes it did get a lot of votes in the full poll uh unfortunately arcus did not win that poll the fable did uh but it was a very close race uh and arcus got a, a lot of the votes so i wanted to go ahead and do uh, one of the game's reviews for Wax, which will be this. Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and grab one of these packs. Uh, and then we'll also go ahead and do the Fabled review. Um, if you're at all interested in the game, it is a first-person shooter-style game that is interesting because it uses a lot of AI with, with uh, the game itself. Um, so I'm interested to see how that all connects in. I encourage you to go ahead out to Atomic Hub, the launch pad. Uh, the drop is going to be going on. Again, I'm recording this on Friday, so you have about a day left to go ahead and check out uh, the deals that they have out there for this. Nova Pangea is next on the list. They announced that they have a whole lot of uh, events again happening in July. We know about their in-game events because it's similar to what they did for uh, for June. They also have a really cool pack opening event that's coming up here. Uh, it's a tournament style. I unfortunately missed getting a spot. I was actually went to look today to grab a spot, but they sold out. I, I think I missed it by a day. Um, but I, I encourage you to go ahead and watch it. Um, and then also they have uh, announced creature cards. They're going to be adding creatures to the game itself, uh, which adds a whole nother level to the actual gameplay. Uh, so if you're at all interested, I encourage you to go to Discord. They have a whole, uh, all the details around it as far as the, the creatures go. I may do a full separate video on this. Uh, but if you're all interested, go to their Discord and the announcements. They have uh, a link to the Medium article. Next on the list, we have another new game that's coming out here in the near future. And this is uh, Starship Beyond. Just going to show you a little bit of clip. This is a skill-based skill game uh, where you're running around pixel-esque pixel uh, and just trying to defeat monsters. And there's, they have big bosses that you can go ahead and fight against, different types of weapons. They drop. They have crafting. Um, it's by Josh is, is kind of leading this one effort. It's technically under the Metasource games, but I know Josh has put a lot into this one. Uh, so I'm interested to see how this one, I'm interested to how the game is. You see the, the boss battle right there. Uh, so keep an eye out for more that's coming along with that one. Uh, and then Forged Arena has, uh, or it already did release the pre-download for their, their Alpha 0.1 uh, release. Um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out number-wise how this is different from what they, they've already released. Uh, but this is going to be, this is available already. It was available on June 5th. Uh, so there's going to be some uh, updates that are coming up here in the very near future uh, and some changes that are going on. So if you're into the Forged Arena, make sure that you do get the, the latest upload. All right. Now we are moving into the the PFP segment of the, the weekly update. Um, I, 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 I got sucked into the, the drop for uh, Wax Bulls that happened this past week. Um, you all know I'm not the biggest fan of PFPs, but I, I was curious um to see how it was all going to work out so i go went ahead in and i jumped in to the wax bulls um i, I don't, still don't think it's my type my cup of tea i don't think i'm going to be doing a lot of them um but i wanted to test out i wanted to see what was going on um they do have a doa or voting for that what they're going to do with the the first portion of uh the rewards 
Um, so go ahead. If you haven't already voted, I think it'll still be available by the time this video is dropping. Um, but go ahead and vote. They, they're talking about doing a buyback of, of the floor with the first uh, a bunch of ink or a bunch of uh, secondary market fees. Um, so go ahead and do your vote on that. Last time I checked, it was a no go for that. At least the majority, I think it was a vote of like 70% to 30% saying no. Um, so I'm curious to see how that actually ends up turning out. In addition, uh, Wax Apes did a drop. Technically, by the time of this recording, it's in five hours. But by the time you're watching it, it was yesterday. Um, with with the bananas, um, interesting that they're 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 doing some combination with the the apes and bananas. I guess I shouldn't be surprised by that. Um, curious to see how this one goes. They're the equivalent of twenty five wax for each of these. Um, and there's going to be, a, it's a, a 10,000, oh gosh, kills me. Um, that's, that's the one thing I don't think I like about the PFP drops is there's so many of them. I really like the way that Nova Pangea did those, uh, super duper limited with the utility that goes along with it. But I know there is a big market for PFPs, uh, such a big market that Wax actually came out with a guide of how to launch PFPs because they know it, it is going to be a big thing that's, that's really getting pushed here in the near future. It's actually already, we're already in the wave of it. So PFP mania has taken over Wax. Oh, that's why I've included it in here. Uh, again, I, I prefer the game utility ones, but I know there's a big fan base for this. So I wanted to mention that also that that uh, Wax when it came out with a, a basically a, a how-to guide uh, for that. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the last item for the list. And I know this is probably way longer uh, than 15 minutes. Um, last on the list is Funko. They are going ahead and dropping a Stranger's Thing, uh, Stranger's Things. Uh, series. Uh, I know a while ago, Stranger Things uh, Funkos were super popular and were s sold and just crazy. Um, this drop is a little bit different because normally it's the standard and premium packs are the same number. This is the first time I believe I'm seeing that the standard packs is 75,000 and the premium packs is only 25,000. So that's interesting. They, they, they have 100,000 packs, which is actually also less than normal. Usually it's about 120,000 packs. Um, so I'm curious to see how this goes. I'm assuming it'll sell out because it's Stranger Things. It's a little bit more limited. And I do have to say the physical pops are pretty cool, um, especially the the Grail, which is the, the dragon. I think that's a neat one. Uh, and then I know this is uh, the Eddie uh, one is, is super popular with the regular one. So I'm assuming Eddie is uh, Freddy Funko or Freddy Funko as Eddie. Um, will be super duper popular also. All right, as I mentioned, there's a lot going on in Wax this past week and upcoming here in the ne in near future. So I wanted to get it all through. I apologize. I definitely went over 15 minutes. I hope you all have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Bye.